on everybody it's your boy sinister team rg we in the building today i'm bringing all of y'all a special video because i want to prepare a lot of y'all for the winner now this was a suggestion by my brother-in-law to do this video for y'all so big shout out to my brother-in-law jeff um coming out and trucking during the winter time what you need what you should have to be prepared for the winter so I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show y'all. I got some items lined up that y'all should have. Some things I don't have because I either left I left it at home or um, I just ain't got it with me right now at the current moment. But let me walk y'all around and show y'all. So, first thing first. As you can see, I got everything set up so I can give y'all a rundown. So, we're going to work from this way going up. And my hands, actually, I was kind of starting to do my rims. But anyway, um, you got to have your bag of chains. These, you got to have four bags of chains. Okay? And I'm trying to keep it so it don't spill out. You got to have four bags of chains. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you're going to need them for your drive axle. Make sure you got your tire inflation, your tire inflation airline to inflate your tires to make sure that your tires is properly inflated for the winter. Have your extra pair of windshield wipers just in case your current windshield wipers go bad on you. Also, make sure you got your reflective triangles and they in good condition. Right? Now, so, four bags of chains, your tire inflation airline, because you got to inflate your tires, extra windshield wipers, just in case your windshield wipers is bad and can't wipe the windshield clean, because the rubber's worn down, your three reflective triangles. Now, have you some jumper cables, just in case your batteries die on you. And on reefer, you know, we can uh, go into the panel here and jump the cables to the back of the Pro Star here to keep the electrical stuff in the truck going. So have your electric, your jumper cables, or if you just need a jump from somebody, have that. Now, I got a mallet and a regular hammer. Now, in the mallet, when the winter comes and it's real cold, don't set your trailer brakes because your trailer brakes, because your trailer brakes is going to freeze to the, um, to the brake drum. So what's going to happen is you're going to have to either go back there with your mallet and this rubber is hard. That might not work. So sometimes you might have to go back there with the flathead part of the, of the hammer and give it that real bing bing and sometimes you're gonna have to get the bottle of rubber alcohol and put it in let me walk you over take the bottle of rubber alcohol gonna disconnect this airline which is your red airline pour the rubber alcohol down in the hole right hook it back up go in your truck you're gonna go back in your truck and you're gonna push in the, the knob that's for that that um for that airline which is your trailer brake that's gonna make that rubber alcohol that's in the line feed back there and help release those brakes so that's why you do that so also make sure you got your engine oil for your truck to make sure your your engine is very lubricated have your antifreeze for your engine have your WD-40 for when you got to slide the tandems, when the tandems get stiff back there and for any other purposes. Uh, have a bottle of fifth wheel grease. Make sure you got a bottle of rubbing alcohol. And put on here, not for human consumption, because uh, DOT, make sure you got just one bottle of this and put not for human consumption. Uh, your Windex to clean your windows. Make sure you got a flashlight and not just have a flashlight, but make sure it works and have a bottle of 
diesel conditioner and anti-gel. This is to keep your, your fuel from gelling up. Now, all the information you need to know about it is on the back on how much you should put. And uh, that keeps, you know, that goes into your diesel fuel tank. So, have that. Also, make sure you got your rag so you can check your engine oil you dipstick. Have, your, have a screwdriver to check your tire pressure gauge. To check your tires, make sure you got your tire pressure gauge, which is this right here. Let me put that back down in the door. Have a knife, because you might need to cut something. Get you some tools. I got some vice grips right here. Um, get you a little ratchet set. Get you some tools, because you might have to fix something out here. Electrical tape. Just in case a line splice, a line gets spliced, and you got a duct tape, uh, electric tape to fix maybe one of the lights or something like that. Something can be loose. Get you some duct tape. Also, make sure you got you some band aids because you can cut your finger on doing certain things. Also, have spare headlights, extra headlights. I'm gonna do a video on how to change your headlights. Also. I got spare fuses, and I'm going to show y'all a video on how to change your fuse, where to find the fuses at, and you see there's, there's different colors, and I'm going to explain that in another video. Um, another important thing, while you out here doing the winter, have this. For the simple fact this, as you come in the trucking, you're going to notice there's a lot of nasty people. People going to go to the bathroom. They're going to use the number. They're going to use the toilet. They're going to pee. They're going to walk right out the bathroom and grab the door handle. They're going to just grab the handle. So if that person is sick and coughing in their hands, sneezing in their hands, and using the bathroom, and they grab the handle, and then you come and grab the handle, and you touch your food or you touch your face, then you sick. Um, also, make sure you got your... Pocket Truck Stop Guide. This shows you all your truck stops in the route state and all of that. If you don't got a uh, Rand McNally. Bottles of water. I, this is my water I'm drinking, but I put it there so I can remember to touch that. Bottles of water. For if you get stuck somewhere and stranded, you got bottles of water. You got to have that emergency kit just in case you end up in a snowstorm so bad that you can't move for two three days so have cases of water get you some good insulated gloves I got these from Walmart that's where I got these from so um, get you some thermo socks I got these from Walmart also they feel real good I haven't worn them yet they ain't been that cold so and they got the dickies for that also make sure you got a pair of boots you know, I got waterproof boots. You can pick up a pair. You don't got to have Tim's, you know, to work in. I got these from Walmart. They wasn't that much. They wasn't that expensive. Then, in your permit book, make sure you know your chain laws. I'm going to do a video on this separately, but I just want to show y'all. The chain law states is California, Colorado, Idaho, Montana, Nevada, Oregon, Utah, Washington, and Wyoming. I'm going to break that down in another video. Um... Also, make sure you got you got you a scully for your head, your hoodie, your jacket. Uh, get you a quilt. Make sure you got a quilt. Um, sleeping bag, if that's what you prefer. I got a quilt. I got two uh, fleece blankets, and I have a, a heated blanket that I can plug into the 12 volt socket. Also, another important tool for emergencies, we don't really talk that much on it, is get your CB. You know, have a CB for emergencies so you know what's going on down the road. You get, I get weather notifications from the National Weather Service. That's free. That's nothing you pay for. So make sure you got a CB. Um, the other thing I didn't have, and I, I have to go back home and get my shovel. And my ice scraper for my windshield with the brush on it so I can scrape ice off my window when it gets that cold. Um, and that's it. Basically, what I can think of 
at the current moment. Make sure you got cancer tuna um, just in case you get stranded somewhere and you can't, uh, you get stranded at a rest area. Have cancer tuna, things that can stay fresh because they sealed in the can. Have cancer tuna, uh, peanut butter and jelly for emergency. Um, let me see. Uh, Just let, uh, and, and while you out in those states that um, have a real b bad blizzard, contact family, let them know, hey, I'm going to be in this state, I'm traveling such and such, and um, I just want to let y'all know, it's a bad storm, you know, I'll check in periodically, and stuff like that, so let your family know where you're at, and keep them posted, and everything like that. Um, just be prepared, you know, have water, like I said, and all of these items will help you out, out here, during the winter months of trucking, and any time that you driving and you feel that the weather is too, too much for you, where you're not in your comfort zone, shut down, go to a truck stop, don't try to shut down at the rest area, because let's just say, that snow blizzard lasts for three, four days. You stuck at a rest area. You know, they got vending machines, but they ain't going to have no food. But you get to a truck stop, you got showers, you got facilities. Rest area has got facilities, but you will be able to eat food. And you'll be able to be inside a building instead of in the truck. If it gets so bad that your truck don't want to crank and start, you can be in the building. So you be you can be warm, you can be in the building, and everything like that. So... Um, that's everything that I can think of, um, and of course, if I miss something, um, I know a lot of people is going to leave their comments, also have this, also have that, so those comments is welcome to help everybody know what else they should have, um, get you a scarf to cover your neck, cover your face, because it can get real treacherous out here in the winter, and, um, the reason I want you to have boots is because when it snows, right, and the snow falls between here, it builds a mountain, and then it freezes up, and it be ice, so it's like a pyramid, and as you walk into the back, you can slip, so be careful with that in the winter, and also, just slow it down in the winter, and if you're not comfortable, slow down, get to a truck stop, shut down, get on that Qualcomm or that Zonar, send a message to dispatch. Due to weather conditions, I do not feel safe driving from this point on. Can you please notify the shipper or the consignee that I will be running late? Also, call. Get the person name that you speak to and cover yourself. And that's how to prepare for the winter. And this your boy Sinister. Please subscribe, please like the video, thumbs it up, share the video. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more how-to videos to help y'all out, to prepare y'all to come out here to be successful because that's what I'm about, being successful, being positive, being proactive. So this your boy Sinister, and I hope this helps you out. And um, I'll get with y'all on the next video. All right? Peace out.